and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. Today I want to introduce a new feature or series to the channel. One of my favourite TV shows whilst I was growing up was MTV Cribs, and my favourite part of Cribs was seeing what cars celebrities had on their driveways. So, this is Driveway Goals. I'm going to go meet up with owners, collectors, dealers, maybe even some recognisable faces, and see what cars they have on their driveways. We're going to talk about what inspired them to buy those cars, their favourite or least favourite things about them, and then hopefully even go on some drives. So today I've come down to San Diego in California to meet up with Dylan who sent me a message on Instagram as he and his family own a range of cars, everything from a rare 1980s Porsche right through to a Rolls Royce Phantom. So let's head inside and check them out. Hi everyone, I'm Dylan. This is the collection. We have a 1988 Turbo S here, uh, Aston Martin Vantage V8, a BMW i8, a Phantom, and a Bentley. Pretty predominantly British, but we have a couple Germans too. First, we start with the Porsche. We have a 1988 Turbo S. It's a 944, more of the hated of the Porsches. It's not a 911, I know but it's a special car. It's called the Silver Rose Edition. And essentially, you see with the color, it's got a pink tint to it, depending on the light, and this plaid interior. This was a bit of a pain. We got the car. It was not in the best of conditions, a 200,000 mile car. I contact Porsche. We don't have the material. I, they go, call this guy. So I go on this forum, I find his website, and I go, I don't know if you speak English, but I need this material. And the guy's completely German. He's like, yes, yes, I have it. And he gives us the material. It was a pain, but we got it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Uh, turbo lag, very interesting in this car. So obviously the party piece of our BMW i8 is this. Other than being a hybrid, uh, it's an interesting car because you have immediate torque. But the thing that's most impressive, we've had Ferraris, whatever it is, and essentially the great thing about this car is the handling. It's incredible. It's got a carbon fiber monocoque. Uh, it's four wheel drive because essentially you have the combustion engine and the electric engine running each of the wheels separately. And it just handles unbelievably. But overall, it's the most unintimidating car to drive. It's easy, it's natural, and you don't get the sense that BMW just threw this on a three series production line. You get the sense that they put a lot of care and effort. You look at the mirrors, how the black and white cut through and match this black and white here. I don't know, it's cool to see BMW making a car with thought and care. Personal baby, uh, this is the V8 Vantage. Uh, absolutely love this car, mainly because it's the opposite of this car. This car is easy, it's fun, but this car is so visceral. It's a stick shift, it's got a hard, deep clutch. Uh, I love it in almost the James Bond color. I've vinyled these things, I've installed clear tail lights, I've put spacers on. I've done my fair share of trying to make it more beautiful, which I didn't even need to do in the first place because it's just so amazing. Everything doesn't make sense, everything breaks, but that's what I love. Although this is the car that is predominantly in Beverly Hills, whatever you want to call it, it's fairly common in, in, uh, in California. It is an amazing car to drive because, especially because of the spec, the spec we loved. It's not a special edition or anything, but what makes it special is you have this red popping on the black. Uh, it's also an incredibly fast car. You wouldn't think about it. It's also loud, 560 horsepower. It's nuts, especially for figures of a 2007. All right, 6,000 pounds, 20 feet long. What are you gonna say? This is a massive beast. It's also a special edition. It's the centenary, centenary edition, so you can feel special while you're driving, I guess. But it's uh, essentially they made 35 of them. This is five of 35. This paint color, this purple, which is pretty cool. And then these red pinstripes. Specifically though, the red badges. They don't really put red badges on Rolls Royces. And the reason being is in the 19, I think pre-1920s, Rolls's all had red badges. But what the owner said is it was crude. They needed black. 
So they're all black now today, but as homage to the old cars, you have red badges, the specific interior. But this is a, actually, this used to be for the i8, this was a daily driver. And yeah, that's the collection. <laughs> Dylan, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too, man. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you so much for inviting me down here. This is so cool. Of course, of course. I'm glad to have you in San Diego. And what an experience to go in a car like this. This interior is incredible. Can I just say that? It is. I love it. How long has the family owned this car? It's been about uh, a year now. Okay, this, not that long then. No, it's not long. It's an old car, but it's a one owner before us. And essentially, I don't know, we, we just really wanted, I, I always wanted a, a Porsche. We had uh, many in the family. This is kind of my potentially family car, but I've abducted it from my father. Okay, sure. And Dad, I think you should buy this for me. <laughs> yes, exactly. See, um, but uh, it, it, I saw potential. We, I wanted a Porsche 944. It turned, I told you, it turned to a turbo. And then I'm like, whoa, there's a turbo S around. And then in addition to that, there's this three, three, uh, 381 made Silver Rose edition. It's got okay. this interior, the exterior. And was it a US only, do you know, the Silver Rose? Because I, I hadn't heard of it. So before, in the but... US, it was called the Silver Rose. In the uh, in Europe, it was called uh, the Turbo Cup car. Okay, nice. That's even yeah. cooler. <laughs> so, I think you should just call this one the Cup car. The Silver Rose is a little bit feminine. Yeah, no, yeah. it is, it is, Cup but Cup. I like to, you Cup know, Cup. get into my other yeah. alter ego. You're from California. <laughs> <laughs> is it fun to drive? It is. It's very, it's weird to drive because it's, first of all, the steering is, you know, quite stiff and old, as you would imagine, an older car. But the interesting thing is turbo lag. That is the thing that, that you, you know, pick up and understand, and I'll sure. demonstrate here. So, nothing, nothing. nothing. Okay, okay, there we go. That, <laughs> that is ridiculous. There was nothing happening in that. <laughs> exactly. Starbucks in this. Starbucks, please. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys. I mean, We're interrupting this bloody video. Yeah, I started it early this morning, and as anyone who's been watching any of the Vlog Angeles series will know, my day has to start with Starbucks. Um, but yeah, coffee first. And what a cool way to go for coffee. Do you use this for like little weekend runs? And stuff I like that? use this every. I'll, I use every car every day. So okay. just telling the viewers, I own the Aston. We, our family owns all these cars. I'm not claiming to own any of them. Sure. But we love cars. We're obsessed with cars. We enjoy them. The Phantom, as I said, is a, was used to be before we got even more obsessed with other cars. Was a daily driven car. <laughs> so um, this is two hundred thousand miles. We didn't do most of those, but I switch every time. I'll go to coffee. I'll do everything. There's no no car is too special for anything. But it's great. You come across as real enthusiasts. Like, I'm obsessed. Obviously, met your brother as well, and and you're just into cars and driving cars because it's a very oh, eclectic. Yeah range of cars in your driveway. We do, yeah, exactly. All right, we're here. Right, coffee, coffee's essential, and then we crack on with the drive. What happened to your drink? Finished it. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh shit, we can close the windows. Yeah, no, that's cool, that's cool. It is. Baking hot in San Diego today, like killer yeah, that's weird. Honestly, in Manila. Honestly, I swear to God, it's normally like 72. See, everyone's been saying this about every day in LA. Like, I've been going everywhere. Oh, no, no, LA is crap though, that's bullshit. But people are, people are people like, oh, it's never this hot. No, that's and bullshit. Like, <laughs> it's always, like LA is just like, uh, I don't know. LA but gets... you do realize I've come to San Diego and you're like, it's never this hot. <laughs> no, no, I am. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so it's bullshit here too, man. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> It's, it's never been on my radar before, but the last few months I've been lucky enough to experience some classics and they're just, the character of them is what is so oh, appealing, I love right? it. I love just the switch, like feel the switch, you just like, it's like Yeah, everything's super clunky. With the graphic, this was interesting, having the CD player in 88, no cars had it. I mean, this is just the innovation with Porsche. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Surely just, you have to have like some hardcore 80 music in here, right? Like what do you listen to? Do you have, uh, a, do you have yeah. a mixtape? I don't, are we actually, do we have a, are we recording? Or? Do it, you can do it. <laughs> is it expensive to like maintain oh, and replace parts? Really? We really? mass produce this. So you can find parts super yeah. easily? This may be a rare variant. Sure. But they mass produced the 944. Oh. It was the people's Porsche. Too cool, man. What an, what an awesome experience. Thank you. Thank you for the coffee. Of course. And for the yeah. drive out. Now in your 
VA Vantage. We but are. before we talk about it, guys, More we're hunting supercars. We were cruising along and chatting away at some travel lights when suddenly a matte grey Ferrari FF and a white Bentley GT3 R pulled out. And Dylan yeah, was like, I, I gotta get a shot. I <laughs> haven't gotten a photo of this GT3. I love this, it. These are world problems. <laughs> You are such a supercar spotter, it's brilliant. Okay, turning left, is this a fancy restaurant? Oh yeah, but oh, we can pull over and maybe sit some shots. Do you want to take a photo? Yeah, let's do it, why not? Sorry to interrupt the film. Yeah, yeah, we've been, <laughs> this is like our, our vibe for the morning, isn't it? Starbucks and now spotting. <laughs> You hear that? I, I, you hear the lock? Yeah. That's the, it doesn't lock really anymore. <laughs> so the thing is, right, I feel like <laughs> everyone wants to love Aston, right? Everyone wants to love, but there's just some issues. Oh, there's so many issues. <laughs> the question is, as, a, as an owner, is it worth it? Like, like, do you put up with the issues? Oh, 100%. Yeah. I, look, I love it. If you catch issues at a bad time, you'll be pissed off. But it's just like, sometimes you can't help but laugh. It's so ridiculous. I can't even lock this like, expensive car. Yeah. Like, little does anyone know. <laughs> yeah, people will assume Well, now they know. Not. Yeah, 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 you just reveal it to everyone. But just then, hunting supercars, this thing became so cool. Oh, I And I felt it. like we were bombed. Yeah, Chasing is, down some villain. And it's that's FM. the thing, it, well, there's three things. There's idiosyncrasies I love about it, which is ridiculous to love. <laughs> it's the purpose about it, when, like, especially at nighttime, this just becomes like, it feels like I'm on a set. And it's not because it's just James Bond or whatever it is. Sure. It's just, it's such a, you know, it's not like wings everywhere, it's, but it's gorgeous and it's so. There's an atmosphere to it. Exactly. It's I have to say that you have nailed life because it's a manual. Oh, because yeah. that's the one thing with Aston's, you can forgo all that just idiosyncrasies and the technology, but if you had the sport shift gearbox in here... Oh, it's crap. Yeah, you'd be yeah. in trouble. No, it's nice. That it was just kind of non-negotiable for me to get the stick because obviously sticks are fun, but I mean the sport shift is like so crappy that like why would you have the <laughs> yeah. car? Yeah, it's famously slow and clunky, but with this it must be so much fun the to The clutch is deep, it's uh, very hard. Okay. But it's like... Uh, Perfect amount of speed. Oh. Yeah. Oh, everything's gone. <laughs> all the cars are gone. Yeah, yeah. It's we all left been... the gate open, and that's why they're gone. <laughs> it was an illusion. None of these you cars. Are... The fast. You just rented everything for today, Shabar. didn't you? <laughs> Man, thank you so much for thinking. It's been a pleasure thank meeting you. Thank you. Awesome checking out the cars, Appreciate checking out the guys. Welcome to San Diego and goodbye. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this slightly new form of content. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe. Final sign off from Dylan. Bye guys, uh, you've seen my whips, you've seen my rides, uh, now get the hell up. <laughs> <laughs>